Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to make a saving system in Roblox Studio. So this is a system that you can use to save whatever you want. It could be a player's amount of coins, a player's XP, a player's level, it could be whatever. But to get started, um, we're going to have to insert a script into this game. So we're going to insert a script into server script service. So we're just going to insert it, and we're going to name it... You can name it anything you want to, just make sure you can tell that this is the script that you're using to save stuff. I'm just going to call it, um, data store. Because that's what it uses. So, now that we have our script set up, we have to actually set up the, um, services that we're going to use, data store service. So the way we do this is local data store service equals game colon get service data store service so this is just um getting the service that will store stuff for us and then next we're going to do local data store equals data store service colon get data store and then you can name it absolutely whatever you want it does not matter what you name it but i'm just going to name it stuff and so now that we've done that we can actually set up or we can actually make the code that's going to save stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that a player's um stuff like their coins or whatever loads when they join the game so in order to do that we're going to need to make a function that starts when a player joins the game so what we're going to do is game dot players dot player added colon connect function and then player and then enter so this is basically just going to run something every time a player joins the game or a player is added to the game and it gives us this um variable here that is the player that joined the game so now that we've got that done we're going to want to create a folder that the players are going to join or a player's data is going to be saved in when they join so what we're going to do for that is local and you can name this variable whatever you want just it, but this one does matter you just have to just make sure that you know that this is the variable that is for saving or that's the folder so i'm just going to name it leader stats and then you can put equals instance dot new and then folder so instance.new creates a new instance and this is like the type of instance that I make. So basically this just creates a new folder and we reference it. It's a variable called leader stats or we call it leader stats in this script. But we only call it leader stats in the script. We don't call it leader stats like in the actual game. So that's what we want to do now. I'm going to do leader stats.name equals and quotation marks leader stats. So this will name, and this part, um, you should name it leader stats if you want that thing, um, the leaderboard in the top right to automatically appear. If you name it something else, that leaderboard in the top right will not appear. And you'll see what I mean by the leaderboard in the top right later. So then you're going to put leader stats dot parent equals player. And then this is what's going to um, put the leader stats folder inside of the player. Now we're going to create our values that are going to store the um, the coins or XP or levels. So I'm going to do local, and I'm going to be saving coins here. So I'm going to do local coins equals instance dot new. So we're creating another instance, and it's going to be called. I'm going to name this number value. So now that we have created, so this is just going to create a number value for us, but we want to make that number value have, um, we want to make that number value equal to the amount of coins that we had on our previous session. So we're going to do coins dot value equals data store colon get async player dot user id dot dot coins 
So what this does is it changes the value of coins to a um, to something that we saved earlier. And this thing that we saved earlier, this is the key to the thing that we saved. Or so this basically is how we're gonna it's like basically the um the when you save stuff it's like a dictionary <coughs> or like a coding dictionary so basically you have a key and you have a value for it so that's basically what this is here what data store is <coughs> this is the key and then we're gonna get from this we're gonna get the previous value of coins that we had i hope it's not too complicated coin then we're gonna do coins dot name equals coins which is just like we did up here to change because this is called coins in the script but not in the game next we're going to do coins dot parent equals leader stats so this will put the coins variable inside of the leader stats all right so now you can do more variables and if you were to do more variables than this all you would have to change is just <clears throat> first you would want to change um the variable name so you could change it to like um you name it to like xp and then you'd have to name every time that we say coins you'd have to change it to xp inside of this block of code and then you would have then you'd also be able to save xp so now we have a system <clears throat> that will find what we have saved but we don't have a system that will actually save it so we need to make something that can save it so we're going to do game dot players dot player removing colon connect function player and this is similar to this up here except it's when a player is leaving or removing compared to when a player is added <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually want to do the saving part. So we're going to do player or um we're going to do data store colon set a sync. And then we're going to do player dot user id dot dot coins which is similar to this up here, or actually it should be the exact same as this. And then we're gonna do game or no player dot and whatever you named here. So I put leader stats <coughs> and then the what you put here. So dot coins and then dot value. So this will basically take our leader stats or our coins which are inside of our leader stats and that value and it's going to save that. So now that we've done that, um, we have a system to save the, we have a system that'll save the data when a player is leaving, but we do not have a system that will save the data when the sh server is shut down. So that's what we're gonna wanna do now. So I do game that, um, colon, bind to close and this is basically just going to stop the game from shutting down and it'll let us do a function well it's stopping so do function and then yeah just basically and then we're going to do um for i comma player in i pairs game dot players colon get players so what this does is uh, hit enter so what this does is it creates or it lets us run a piece of code that's going to be inside of here for every player in the game so basically it's for i in the i doesn't matter here player in i pairs and game dot player colon get players so this is it's quite complicated, but what this does is just, it runs this piece of code once for every um, player in the game, and it gives us this word player as a variable. 
Now what we're going to do is actually make it save. And we're just literally going to take this real quick and paste it. And again, if you want to do like, if you want to save XP or something, all you have to do is XP and XP. And you would also, of course, copy this code, except put XP where the coins are. And you just have to change this one also to XP and XP. So you can do it, you can like make as many different things save as possible. Literally as many as you want, but it'll be slower if you do an insane amount of things to save. So now we're actually going to join. And, oh yes. So, one of the things about Data Store is that when you're in a game, the or when you're in Roblox Studio, Data Store doesn't really work. Unless you have a specific unless you actually set the game correctly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make, um, you have to publish it basically. Da so I'm gonna publish it as data store game. I'm gonna click save and then boom, it's saved. And then I'm going to game settings, permissions, So now, if we try this out, um, we don't actually have any way to get coins right now, so I'm just going to basically give myself coins through the server. So I'm just going to go, you can see our leader stats folder that we made through the script, and then coins. And I'll give myself like 100 coins. So now you'll see I have 100 coins, as you can see in the bottom right. And if I click stop, and then you can see that it's actually taking some time to stop. And the reason why it took time to stop was because it had to um, save our data. And now we can join again. And we'll go and go into the server side. We'll go into, you can see on the right, we're going into our player, our leader stats, coins, and you can see its value is 100. So, Basically, we've created a system that can save your data that you want to save. So, thank you for watching, and I hope it, this helped you in some way. And bye!